Hi friends, let's make a fire icon. Here we are in Figma and I'm going to use my 24 pixel icon grid. We're going to create this fire icon and, and use a bit of Bezier curving today. I'm going to press the O key to pull out the circle tool. I'm going to draw out a circle that is 16 by 16. I'm going to bring it down to the bottom of my grid. I'm going to double click on that, hit the command key, control key on windows, click that top point, bring it all the way there to the top. I'm going to hold down both the command and option key, control and alt key if you're on windows. I'm going to bring this handle down just to this point. So you see I'm just controlling just that one handle. I'm going to bring it down to that point. Once again, I'm going to hold the command and option or control alt keys on Windows and bring this handle over here just a little to the left. Next, I'm going to select that, press shift X, use a black stroke, and we're going to set our thickness to 1.5 just to accentuate the curves of the flame. Next, I'm going to double click back in here. I'm going to select these two side points and use my bottom third horizontal guide to adjust them there. I'm going to select this handle, bring it down to the bottom. I'm going to select this handle. I'm going to bring that down to the bottom. I'm going to select this handle, bring that up just a little bit more. And I'm going to leave that one. Next up, I'm going to add two more points to this. I'm going to press the P key, which is the pen tool and draw in two more dots. I'm going to draw one and I'm going to hit the escape key. I'm going to draw one more in and hit the escape key. I'm going to select this point and bring it all the way in here. I'm going to hold down the command key, control key on windows, click on it once, click on it twice, just to reset the Bezier curve. And here I'm going to click on that point, select those handles and lay them flat across. So I'm going to move that there to the left, that to the right. I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to pull out this curve. What I actually want it to do is to be at a 45 degree angle as I bring this down. So you can see that I'm creating this top portion of the flame. I'm going to bring it right down to that point. I'm going to select this other top part of the frame. I'm going to hold down the command and option key, control and all on windows. I'm going to click that point right there. I'm going to bring this all the way over here. I actually want it just above that little crosshair line. And then once again, I'm going to take this handle and have while holding the shift key, I'm going to take this handle and while holding the shift key, I want it to be completely horizontal. I'm going to move it over by two pixels there. There we go. Once again, I'm going to take this point here. I'm going to bring this up. So what I'm doing here is making sure that my Bezier curve handles are either at 45, 90 or 180 degrees. So that way they're nice and even. So this is looking pretty good. Maybe I just want to take this up just a, a few more, let's say right about there, like two above that point. So I got that curve going there. Now let's add the inside of the flame. I'm going to begin by pressing the O key again, drawing another six by six circle. I'm going to press shift X to swap the fill in the stroke. Let's make that stroke black. Once again, let's set the thickness to 1.5. We're going to double click inside this circle. I'm going to hold the command key and click on that top point. I'm going to bring this up to these crosshairs here in my guides. I'm going to select this point over here on the right and press shift delete. We're going to once again, hit command and option to pull out the individual curve that we have here. And we're going to bring this one down and this handle over here. So once again, I'm holding down the shift key. That's going to keep it at a nice 45 degree angle there. So we have this curvature. We have this line going down. We're going to select this point right here. We're going to move it over by one over by another and kind of select where that handle is going. We're just going to bring it up to that line right there. And this is looking pretty good. Let's select this point down here and just have it extend just a little bit more to the right. You'll see it fall in alignment with this point right here. And we can see that we now have all of these points in alignment. Hold the shift key and hold that handle right about there. And that's looking great. So now that we have our outlined one, let's make one that is filled in. I'm going to hold down the option key, duplicate that. We're going to select our main frame, our main flame. We're going to select our main flame, press shift X to swap the fill in the stroke. Let's also select this one, press shift X to swap the fill in the stroke. Let's select them both together. Come up over here to our Boolean operations and choose subtract selection. There you have it. We have both of our flame icons, both a fill and an outline. And if you were wondering if we can take this back down to one pixel stroke, we can do that as well. Hopefully you found this helpful and as always happy designing.